Commission is going to nominate its own candidate for the Senate. And we have unanimously agreed that the right woman to carry our banner in the coming campaign will be Magnolia Claghorn, our next <laughs> senator. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is no time for words, Magnolia. This is the time for action. Daisy, you see me at my lowest ebb. You're lucky to be a dog. Your troubles are canine. Mine are asinine. <laughs> if you weren't a dog, I'd get a laugh on that. Well, don't sit there with your tongue hanging out. Pray for me. Mr. Claghorn. Mr. Claghorn. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got good news. What is it? $3,000 worth of it. Nobody saw you take it, did they? Mr. Claghorn, would you care very much if Mrs. Claghorn were defeated in the election? Care? Sean, if Magnolia was elected, my life wouldn't be worth living. Good. Then we can keep the $3,000. Yeah, but I don't understand. Well, we had to get the money to give to your wife. So I went to Mr. Healy. Healy? Why, that low down... Well, now, wait a minute. Bucket. He's the one that gave me the money. Yeah. Well, take it back. It was probably printed in the Philadelphia Mint. Well, I didn't Why say Why do they that. call it Mint anyhow? Mint belongs with juleps. And juleps belong in the South. I know, I know. Well, I told Healy that he could stop Mrs. Claghorn's being elected by starting a third party and splitting the vote. Yeah, well, they do it all the time. So he gave me $3,000 for the campaign fund. Hmm. Who are they going to run against, Magnolia? You. Well, it's a good thing. Me! Now, take it easy, Mr. Claghorn. You've got to stand on your rights sometime. Well, yeah, I know. But how am I going to stand on my rights while Magnolia's standing on my face? Mm -hmm.